Hello and welcome to session 9 of using VBA in PowerPoint 2013 from the ground up. Today we are going to have a very short session where we find out the difference between a subroutine and a function. This is a very important topic. If you have seen the previous videos, you would know that a subroutine is written as a sub main and is ended as end sub, whereas a function is written as function main and it ends as end function where main is the name of a subroutine or the function. So what is the difference between subroutine and a function and uh, when do we use a subroutine and when should we use a function? Let's take a deeper look into it. A function returns a value whereas a subroutine does not. A function may or may not return a value. It is not mandatory for a function to return a value always, but subroutine cannot return a value at all. So this is one of the primary differences between a function and a subroutine. A function does not change the values of actual arguments, whereas a subroutine could change them. The values of the arguments can be changed within the subroutine, whereas the function can only use those arguments to calculate and they cannot change those internally. As I said, this is not the only difference, however, this is the major one. If you know a little bit of VBA in Excel, you would know that uh, there are functions that are written in VBA called user defined functions, which can be called directly in a cell, like we call any other built in functions like sum, average, count, etc. So you can use the user defined functions directly into cells in Excel. So here is a simple example of how a subroutine and a function work together. The requirement of this project is that the user inputs his age and based on this age we determine whether the user is a minor or an adult. Now we start the subroutine main declaring a variable saying team bh as byte and we are assigning a value to that variable using the input from the user. So we have used an input box here. Once the user inputs his age we use this line message box you are a minor or an adult and here we are using the function age group. The input for this function as you can see here is b age input as byte. Here we are using the variable that we have declared here as an input to this function. The function itself is a string function. So it returns a value saying minor or adult which is a string. So this function age group returns a string value. Right? That's why it is a string function. So what it does here is it checks the user input. If it is less than 18, it says minor and if it is not, then it says you are an adult. Right? This is the message box that we get. So we are not getting into the VBA detail right now. We just wanted to give you a simple example here so that the concepts are clear. Now one thing you need to notice here is that the name of the function and the name of the output are same here. When you want your function to return a value, you need to have the function name and the output name same. So I hope you have an understanding of the difference between the subroutine and a function right now. Let's move on. Let's look into a few tips that you need to remember. The first thing is that a subroutine is faster than a function. So if you have too many functions in your procedure it might make your procedure run slow right functions do not return a value always as i told earlier it's not mandatory for a function to return a value but it can return a value whereas subroutines cannot return any values never use a function without a return type so always mention the return type of a function whether or not it is returning a value it will not give you a compilation error if you do not mention that However, it will hinder the performance of your procedure. It might make you slow, which will not be appreciated by the user. There should be at least one subroutine in the procedure. This is because a procedure cannot start with a function. It has to be initiated from your subroutine and you can call other functions or other subroutines from that one subroutine. So you cannot have a procedure having only functions you need to have at least one subroutine from which the program starts reading that procedure. Both private and public subroutines and functions can be used 
we have seen the concept of private and public while talking about constants and variable here also we can have either private or public subroutines and functions the private subroutines and functions can be accessed only from that one module however public subroutines and functions can be accessed from different modules in your procedure you cannot assign a function to a shape or an action button so when you add an action button to your presentation you'll see that there is no option to assign a function to it it always asks for a subroutine similarly with a shape you cannot assign a function to it it is also recommended that you use small subroutines and functions and break your procedure into steps this is because if you experience some error in your program it will be easier for you to find out the exact problem and solve it if you have all your code written in one single subroutine and the subroutine is very lengthy it is very tough to find out that one error that you are getting right this is why it is recommended that you break your procedure into small subroutines or functions and then write it okay with this we come to the end of this short session i hope you like this session it was very important to tell you about these differences you will need to know where to use and when to use a subroutine or a function while coding in powerpoint 2013 using vba if you have any particular questions or any suggestion please use the comment section below we will be very happy to come back to you please like share and subscribe to our channel we'll be back with more videos in the weeks to come till then have fun take care keep learning bye bye